Hello, Damon Mercy Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at Sony Content Manager and how this can be used with the ODA drive, the USB attached one, to index uh, media on our ODA cartridge. Uh, see I've got an ODA cartridge here, um, it actually contains 11 optical discs. Each disc holds uh, 500 gigabytes, so an ODA gem free cartridge will hold 5.5 terabytes of information. But uh, let's take a look at the drive. Um, I'll just switch over and print up some B-roll now, and you'll be able to actually see the drive where the cartridge can be inserted and uh, read from. Let's uh, move back to the desktop now then, and uh, we will take a look at uh, Content Manager. Okay, so moving on to the desktop, I first of all print up uh, this PC. You can see uh, on there we've got uh, the ODA drive appears as a drive letter. If I browse into here, you can see I've got a couple of folders, and in the folders there I've created one called Mercia Vids, into which we've got several uh, files. So the purpose of this video is to actually have a look at Content Manager. Now Content Manager is a web-based application, and it can run on a PC or on a Mac machine. And it's uh, web based. So if I launch into the web administration here, you can see we're presented on the left here with uh, three uh, key tabs. One is archive. And from here, we can actually see the library, the optical disk drive, and the content on the machine. So we've got the C drive and the E drive, which is the ODA drive. And I've actually got a archive folder here into which I've already placed a file. So what you would normally do is on the machine you could set up an archive folder where I've got the file. This could be shared out to a team of users um, or it could even be actually on the server and files that are ready to be archived can be placed into this folder. Then on the server here we can simply take this file actually drag it um, onto the cartridge. In fact what I'm going to do is expand this and I'll place this into the Mercia video, video folder. We're then uh, asked to give the archive a title. So in this case I'm going to call this ODA. We can set the various options. Let's say start. Now what uh, has happened then is the ODA drive will uh, ingest that file and actually write it to the uh, cartridge. So we can see the uh, processing here is now complete. We can see the uh, file is finished. And if uh, we refresh here we can see the file has actually been written. So we've literally by doing this it actually wrote that file to the cartridge. If I browse through the cartridge here in Explorer Again, we can see the files there and this can be accessed just as a USB hard disk or a flash memory card that's plugged into a machine. However, the main benefit of Content Manager is the ability to be able to search and find media. So if I was to go into search now, um, we can search for uh, a text. So in here if I was to actually change the target to all, I could search by ODA search and we can see we found the actual particular uh, file there. We can also see that we've generated a thumbnail or a proxy video to actually view the video back from there. And from here we can actually schedule to retrieve the original video or play the original file back. If I select to retrieve we can actually say where we want to retrieve this to. So again on the actual server we can set up a uh, retrieval folder um, something like the archive input or we can actually again if we were to create here um, retrieved um, so I've created a folder called downloads again this could be shared out between users select that, we can say start, 
and that'll actually be queued back through and automatically retrieved. If we go back over to the uh, archive, what we can see here, uh, if we've got a retrieved job, um, it's actually been uh, finished. It's retrieved, it's completed virtually straight away. Where this is good is obviously if you've got lots of these cartridges and they're placed on a shelf, several hundred maybe, you can still browse all of your files that are on the cartridges in the archive and schedule which ones need to be retrieved. So this can enable a dedicated person to come in and actually have the responsibility of going and finding the cartridges, placing them in the drive and downloading them. Some of the other features in here on the search in the advanced features, we can actually search using uh, face detection. As you can see, we've already loaded and trained the system on myself. If I press search, now you can see all of the videos that actually contain myself here on the cartridges are being retrieved. And again, we can bring these up. And likewise, uh, we can jump through the various scene changes there. And again, preview a proxy. Of course we can uh, browse as well, we can browse by various uh, metadata that's been stored on the cartridge. Um, each picture or video has got uh, metadata, the metadata can be edited, so this could be uh, uh, let's just put YouTube in here as an alias and save, we can then browse uh, by alias see here this is obviously been found because of YouTube now under there and likewise we can search by the text that's contained in there with the YouTube you can see it's found uh, this one because of the alias we've added and this one because of the actual title contains the word YouTube as you can see the system is very versatile and obviously being web-based this means that you could actually type in the computer name here and access the archive um, from over a network. So multiple machines could be searching and querying the database to find the files they want, um, not just on the machine that the drive is attached to. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Again, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us, ask below and we'll do our best to help you. Thank you very much.